Alrighty guys, so this here is the Works WGO 50. Yeah, I'm at my school stuff, but anyways, it didn't matter. I got home late and it's kind of extra. I got home late, so, but I wanted to make this video because this is a very, very interesting thing but in my opinion I don't really I haven't done my research fully but this is it looks like something German you notice the color scheme is orange gray and black these these colors are I don't know if if anybody's ever been to Germany, you see a lot of their construction equipment or like wheelbarrows and things. I notice the colors. I notice a lot of things. I'm very I'm a very observant person. Um, but anyways, it's nice colors, and I'm gonna go into the negatives about one thing on the assembly. Everything is very easy to do. There's one negative, and I think this design should be changed immediately. Um, so I thought, well, heck, why don't we unbox, unbox the rest of this stuff? And I do have the. So obviously it has flat free tires, which is awesome. Um, you, have, you can call dirt, you can move a rock, rock with it. It has this special screen, which I haven't pulled out yet. I don't know if it's in there or not. You can move pots with it. I would love to test that out. Move a fridge with it. Um, uh, a big bag or something and I was gonna show this too which is pretty cool if you have like a trailer that's empty or a light you can use this as a dolly to move it, it has a little area where you can put a hitch and you can haul boxes and other things obviously these are quite some random objects but it shows what it can do um, so this is a cool thing I think personally um, so I, I have been able to use this on a customer's property where I got, had I moved rocks, I moved pea gravel, moved all kinds of things with that. Mulch, plants, everything. It's a, one of the most handiest things. And you see this thing on TV, and one of my customers had it. She said, yeah, just use it for the yard. I said, okay, so I don't have to bring my wagons or wheelbarrow up. Um, I'm gonna probably consider getting rid of my wheelbarrow. I do not know, but geez, this is very nice. Um, this right here, you can put a hitch right here. Um, I guess this is for you can mount or do something else there. Um, and then you have this arm. don't really oh and this is another interesting thing if you have something really big like a big bag you in that that little piece right that little flat piece for, as a dolly and big enough you can use this also that's interesting I never I never realized that oh that's that's very nice um, I also have that to help back me up on what we're doing here with this as we kind of talk about it Put these I've never used that. I've only used like the bed and the dolly here, but um, this. You just put it up. You pull out this knob. And it just pops back in into place. And then it becomes a wheelbarrow. Well, yeah, you can make it a wheelbarrow and a dolly. Yeah. So this is how it works better, which is something I never knew because I think, because hers was older and it, it sat outside, um, it had broken off. But this is, this makes much more sense. I never knew how to move this because that knob, like I said, was broken on my, on the customer's cart that she had. And, but it was in good shape. I mean, it had sat outside for years and it was really just kind of faded and the handles were a little, little far, but they were 
Still, it was a really nice thing. Anyways, I like it. Keep it like this. So I guess one thing we'll go into is the assembly. So it, it already comes pre-assembled, if you're wondering how it comes. Um, so these here, you just twist this knob and pull, you twist and pull, and then these come out, which kind of have to, oh yeah, okay, so let me show you this. Sometimes, guys, I'm not thinking when I do some of this stuff, but. Alright, so you see this knob here? Pull it up, you see the threads, and then it locks, and then you can pull this out. You can pull these out, for example. So, then all you have to do is put it back in. So, there it is. Okay, so now the assembly, that's part of it. Nothing else has to be done. The bed, the dolly, all the frame is already put together. And if you're also, if you see these right here, guys, I know there's a lot of moving around right now. Uh, if you see these and they, you're like, what? Why are these loose? Well, they, ha they have to be to move and pivot, I guess. You know, honestly, I don't think they have to be. I just never noticed it. Okay, but the rest of the assembly we'll go into. The downfall of this one other part is these cotter pins here are some of the hardest things to get in. I have never had so much luck, so much bad luck with that. That, that, that has to be the worst part. It took me like 25 minutes. I end up going to watch this guy. Sorry, I didn't get his name for the channel, but um, putting these in. Wow, these right here, guys, are really hard to put in. Like, they are, they are extremely hard. Uh, what you have to do is you have to, well, the, the, you put this pin in with the wheel and you line it up with the hole here, and you put that through, and you think you're going to be able to push that on there. Most likely, you aren't. So what you do is um, you kind of have this piece bottom side in, and then you have to kind of pull and push. It's very, very hard. It took me a while. After several tries and the cotter pin coming back out, it was really tough. So, guys, I don't know if this is a very good re review or not. It shouldn't have taken eight minutes, I know, but okay. So I haven't opened up this yet. I've always wondered really as to what this does. I'm gonna read the instruction manual here. But... Ah, yes. This... It's just the plastic stuff. Yeah, we're going to be uh, looking at this. This may be to help secure a load or something. I'm not very sure. They do make sure nothing gets bent because, to be honest, this metal is good, but it's not great. It's, it's pretty thin, but it, it can bend. I mean, this, this stuff can bend. It, it, it probably would be able to bend. Okay. So let me get this. Open up this. I think you can order other attachments for this. And. So. This is one. Oh gosh, guys. This is one, not sure. 
so what this does, but it does, does serve something. And then you've got your net. And that, that, this probably goes along with it, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to find a section here about the attachments here. It's one of these. I'm hoping it was one of those with pages, but it's always got to be this way. Let's see what the warranty is. I'm going to definitely be registering for a warranty, most likely. Um, three years. Limited warranty. Well, that's... This isn't bad. Three year warranty? That's, that's pretty good. So, we're going to see how it holds up for all of this. I, I, I would not expect anything to break. Um, not. Okay, here it is. Here, we'll bring y'all up. I can't unplug my phone from this portable charger since it was at 3%. So, alright, here's a good description here. Lock mover mesh. It just has all the parts. You can buy a firewood hauler bag. Water bag. Huh. Tub organizer. So here is what let's pull this out. And look at this. All right, so so that kind of goes here in the bottom. I'll we'll set this up. So that just kind of clips in there. I think really how it's supposed to go is like that. Yes, that's... I like it. And then... You... Alright, let me put it all on the tripod. We're going to fully assemble all of the attachments. For it. So you, there's three notches here. Why do I keep doing that? And try not to bend the metal because I realize that is tension. So. Yes, yeah, so this would be for a bag. Yes. This, uh. So this is, a, this is what the bag holder, and then you have your bag. Um. And then this is a cylinder holder. I don't know. This bottom part, I'm not really sure. But this is what the bag holder looks like on it. They do give you that. Um, let's see what this looks like. Everything is visualized in this manual. It's great. And then you take these arms down. My only question, so what you do is with that net, you slide whatever it is, and then you kind of secure it. 
I might look into buying some attachments for this. You pick it up. It just seems like a really small thing for that. Um, Shaw up on this stilts here and I can kind of see that. I know I really can't. It's a firewood hauler. And you can get this water bag attachment. That's kind of weird, though. You can get a garden seat, which attacks, attaches into the little indentations. Um, there's a rock hauler. So this thing, I guess, is some kind of strap thing. I'm not sure. And then this. Okay, so this is the pot hauler. <laughs> pot hauler. All right, so I took that the weird way. All right, so let's see. So, if you guys can see this top illustration right here, that is this piece right here. Goes on top and that straps around it. That's pretty interesting. I definitely do want to be But yeah, we will. I will definitely be looking into different things. But like this right here, guys, you can use this attachment is for rocks. So yeah. So anyways, guys, this is what they send you. They don't send you the bag. They just send you a rock hauler, um, pot strap, and this bag thing and I don't know what this is for but yeah this is uh all, all we get it is great and you will have to order the attachments separately so anyways guys there is anyways guys there is my in-depth review of the works WGO WGO 50 so there is my review and that's a full in-depth review. Um, maybe within the next couple of weeks or so, we will work on um, we will work on um, doing a, I guess, not necessarily a field test, but moving rocks and things. We definitely will have a project coming up for it in about a month or two, which is the dirt bags over there. So we got. Kellogg dirt bags over there. So, anyways, guys, that is the video for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys later. Bye.